New biometric technology is being pioneered by the Met Police, which will allow them to run full fingerprint and background checks on the people they arrest without having to bring them back to custody suites in police stations. This could save the Met precious time and money. Alex Isaac has the story. In the battle against crime, the police have had to adapt. With more people moving into the city, it's important to find out potential criminals' identities quickly, and that's by fingerprinting. It used to be a long, drawn-out process, using an ink and roller. Now the police have modernised and are using a mobile digital device called ink on the streets. Heading out from Church Street Station, PC Joseph and PC Mandeville begin their patrol of Westminster. They spot a beggar. Although she has an identity card, PC Joseph can't be sure she is who she says she is and checks out her credentials using the device. How do you say your first name? In the past, she would have been taken into custody, but a quick check and a credentials check out, she's then given a warning and let go. This is a verbal warning, OK, from me to you. OK, if I see you again... So a reason for an arrest is not knowing a person's name or address. And if we know that, then those reasons aren't there anymore, so we can deal with them by other means, um, either sent, giving them paperwork there on the street or inviting them in for an interview, depending on what they've done. The ink device is used across the whole of the force, from neighbourhood patrols to the territorial support group. But there has to be a good reason to use it. Strict guidelines under the Police and Criminal Evidence Act state officers can only take prints without consent if they believe a person has committed or is attempting to commit an offence, or if they doubt a name given by the person is their real name. We stopped the gentleman and he started off giving us a false name and address. Um, once we put a machine in, that's true, then he came back. Um, it turned out he was wanted for quite a graphic GBH offence. This case is one of many examples why the device has transformed the way officers work. I'd like to see, ideally, sort of at least one device per sort of every pair of cops, basically, would be, would be ideal. More are coming, and it's not just on the streets where the benefits are seen, but also in taxpayers' pockets. We recognise that every penny in policing counts, and we think we've saved around half a million pounds by developing our own solution. We've seen a growth from 3,000 users to 9,000, we put 550 devices out, and in the next few months, or certainly by the end of the year, we'll have put another 250 on top of that. We've seen a huge amount of usage by officers day in, day out. The Traffic Operational Command Unit based out of Merton has roughly 140 officers and covers eight London boroughs. The team share 10 ink devices and today PC Nash and PC Crittenden have one in their possession. Pull in there for me, we'll pull behind you, need to have a quick chat about your car. Straight out of the base, they pull over a car that doesn't have insurance. Is this your vehicle? Uh, no, so I'm like, I'm But the computer has him registered as the owner. So this here is the uh, ink device we hold. His prints are then taken to see if his identity matches that on his ID card. It does. Lovely. But he'll be fine for driving without insurance and MOT. The vehicle's relatively good condition um, from what I can gather, but we can't do more than really a basic roadside test at, at this level. Um, so, providing he can get an MOT booked now, then he'll be authorised to drive the vehicle to that pre-booked MOT. Then the team are off again. As the only unit in the area with an ink, they've been asked to drive 50 minutes over to Embankment to help with a traffic stop. As soon as PC Nash arrives, the device is used to check the insurance out on a moped driver. It could be a traffic offence of riding the vehicle with not the correct insurance. The check comes back and it turns out this driver doesn't have the right paperwork. PC Nash will leave the other officers to deal with him as he moves on. All right, all the best. Take care. I use for people to establish identity and any immigration status, so any moving track offences, they will be put on the ink device to uh, enhance or confirm their identity and to see if they're any wanted, missing or in their immigration status. You have the results in under two minutes. Officers have been really receptive. We've gone from having about four to 5,000 people using the legacy device um, we've now got 9,000 officers 
um, and in increasing daily using this device. We've, so far in the last year, we've taken 26,000 fingerprints on the device, of which nearly 12,000 were a positive match. The device is linked to national and international databases, but nothing remains on the device itself. Once a print is checked, it's deleted. Ethical usage of biometrics is really important to the Met. We've appeared before ethical panels, we follow a whole load of rules, uh, we make sure that people's human rights are complied with. To date, we've used this device thousands and thousands of times, and we've not had a single complaint. The two-finger device has saved time on the road, but it's also being used in custody suites. It gives officers the chance to quickly find out detainees' details yep. and then deal with them as necessary. OK, madam, I'm just going to take your, uh, your fingerprints. I want your left index finger first. This one here, please. Don't resist, please. Thank you. You know, we've had it here six to eight months and it's, it's been invaluable already. People are really buying into it. And, you know, it's not just a gimmick, it's not just a, you know, a, a toy. People actually realise that it's, it's really useful uh, and it does save us a lot of time. We can immediately start getting that person the right sort of help they need, whether it be medical help of some sort, the mental health side of things, which therefore we can use this to, to help address those issues early as opposed to waiting the six, eight, twelve hours, whatever it might be, for someone to calm down enough for us to, um, to deal with. Although the two prints can establish identity, the law states that when an individual is arrested, they will have all ten prints and palms, photographs and DNA taken to search against national and international databases. A search will confirm who the individual is, identify any previous convictions and compare their details against marks left at crime scenes. Brixton is one of 23 custody suites in the Met area. They all have one live scan machine to take prints and palms. It's a huge, cumbersome piece of technology. And when cells are full, waiting times to get processed can take more than two hours. Now, a portable version of the live scan device has been created. When fully developed, the hope is that officers will no longer have to travel to custody suites to process individuals, saving time and money. They're looking at a mobile 10 print fingerprint solution which will not just search against fingerprints but actually capture and enrol them, um, which we've developed. It's a proof of concept at the moment. For this demonstration we're going to use fingerprints only and then we just go capture. Right finger flat and the, even the machine guides you through this and then that is the finished product. It would give a, a much better hit rate of, you know, of identifying people. I can see it running alongside the, the live scan machines we use for our normal printing systems by linking onto the Interpol database and so on, which is all part of the future plans. So I, I think it's going to be invaluable. Changes in legislation will need to happen before the new mobile 10 print and palm device can be fully rolled out. But when it gets the go-ahead, the Met Police plans to house some devices in locations around the city. We're going to have key uh, sites around the Metropolitan Police area uh, where we'll have these devices. We are looking at cap capturing prints from individuals there and then to, to identify them. We want a national solution, if we can. The ambition is for the Met to be at the forefront of biometric technology, rolling out their devices nationally and revolutionising the way officers deal with offenders on the streets. Do you know, I'm really excited to have the product that my team have developed in five separate forces being used day in, day out. It's a really great thing.